Hey everyone, welcome back to Source Impressions, the third episode. I'm doing this, this is a series, this is happening. Now, I know that the musical genre and the musical, you know, the people I'm listening to are going to jump about, we're going from Judas Priest to Billie Eilish. Or I call her Billie Eilish, but it's Billie, I Billie Eilish? But I don't know. But uh, when when we all fall asleep, well, i show you. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Her debut uh, studio album, which I've never heard. I mean, I've heard the song Bad Guy, of course. That was a meme, and it was everywhere. You know, it was kind of unavoidable to listen to that song. But I haven't heard any of the other songs, and I am trying to force myself to listen to new music with this series, and especially more modern music, because I, some of it, sh I'm not calling, I'm not saying she's shit, I haven't listened to it yet, but some, some modern music, modern artists are shit, and I'm sorry, but they are, and I won't be listening to them, but th this is, almost, this was huge, so it's got to be good, that's my, my understanding of it, like, we're going to listen to when, I can't, I'm fucking dyslexic and I can't read. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Is the album I'm gonna listen to. And if you like this album, tell me below and comment. You know, tell me what you like about the album. Um, if you don't like the album, the same. Tell me why below. But I'm gonna go and listen to it, and I'll be back in a moment. So that was Billy Eilish's "When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go?" Or when I've already forgotten the name because I'm stupid. But I really I did enjoy that album that was quite good it wasn't like the best album I've ever heard and it definitely wasn't the best pop album I've heard but I like the I like the beats for one especially obviously bad guy has a great beat to it but all the beats and I like the acoustic lead songs that was great but her singing I like the way it's not whisper singing but it's really low on the register and well it's almost ASMR like like soft spoken singing which I love I love um pardon me I love the studio chatter that is sort of mixed into the album that was great and is it, am I going to listen to it a lot no I'll be honest it's not my cup of tea but I mean I've tried it and it was a great listen it's just not something that obviously this is very really far out of my comfort zone for music but I'm trying to push myself and it, there were some great songs. The second to last song, I Love You, is great. I like the laughter on the the opening track, the 13 second bit. That was great. And just these different sort of sounds mixed in. It was it was a really great album. And, you know, if you enjoy it, let me know. It's, it was great. But for Billie Eilish, I like No Time to Die, which is her new... Um, I forget, her new Bond song which was actually amazing, and I think it's better than the Sam Smith one. I didn't like Skyfall from Adele. I didn't like that at all. And then I liked... The Sam Smith one is great, writing on the wall, but the Billie Eilish one is the best out of the last three Bond films we've had. Uh, it is a great song, so you should check that out. But I'm getting off topic. As for this album, it was, it was all right. It wasn't my favourite thing in the world, but... You know, I would definitely recommend a listen if you haven't heard it. And I can understand why so many people stand behind uh, Billy Eyelash. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing that on purpose. But a lot of the, the writing as well, it was very in-depth. It was very deep. Um, you know, she didn't write about her new watch or her new car. Or, you know, some of the stuff that I usually have a problem with, with modern artists. She didn't do that. The songwriting was there. It was great singing, some great beats, some great acoustic guitar. And I think, is it her brother? I think her brother does the production or something like that. I know they work together, so big props to him as well. But all in all, it was a great experience. Uh, join me next time, where we're going to go over Lana Del Rey's... Um, is it Norman fucking... I think it's called Norman fucking Readers. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time.